the creek. An old man and his nephew walked the length of the creek in the setting sun. Grandad, why are we here again? The boy questioned as he dawdled with his hands in his pockets. My boy, we are going to learn something that you haven't learnt yet. Consider it a gift from Uncle Ben. What gift is there to be had walking along this cold creek in freezing winds and icy air? The boy wanted to know. But it wasn't exactly known if he really cared. You have caused trouble in school. And out here I will show you just how cruel it can be if you live your life callously. The old man picked up a random, dry, smooth stone and put it in the boy's hand. This is you. Nathan, feel how heavy this rock is, and then think of it as a man. After a brief moment, Uncle Ben snatched it away and threw it down to the stream, only for it to land with a plop in the water, nowhere to be seen. Now you are in the middle of the creek, and amongst all the other men in the stream, that is reality. Can you find yourself there? The boy scrambled around on the ground, hoping to find the rock which he wanted to throw was ripped away from him before he had a chance to appreciate it on his own. He then found it at the bottom of the creek, where the water was about a foot deep, and the stone had been serrated as if it was chomped by his shark's teeth. Notice how the stone is now scarred, and it took ages for you to tell yours apart from where the others are? This is how society will see you if you choose to continue on this path. A scratched soul, reality and society will pass over. And with no change or way out when you thought you were about to begin. How does a rock have anything to do with the stupid school I'm in? He rebuked. School can teach you to float, but not to swim. The strength and drive to do must come from within. Do you see that ocean ahead? That is the goal of every stone in this stream. It is not an end for those that can swim. It can take them anywhere that they can dream of. The old man picked up the stone and said, I hope this has shown you just how certain things can be if you act without clarity. Learn patience, and take a second now rather than pay with your time a year later in thinking you did the right thing. Let's go home, and plan how your life won't end up as a stone thrown away, but as one you can hold proudly as you walk as a king.